Docking at Southampton's Marine Airport, a Sunderland flying boat brings back to Britain the man whose business is nuts. Waiting to welcome him is Mrs. Strachey, wife of Food Minister John. On his return from the East African groundnut plantations, whose output is scheduled to ensure Britain's future fat supplies, the Food Minister answers our reporters' questions. Uh, Mr. Stacey, there are many people in our audience who would like to know whether there are possibilities for uh, British emigrants on the groundnut scheme. Oh yes, there are such possibilities. We've already had 100,000 applications to work on the groundnut scheme from this country. This is the first year of its operations. Uh, it's really got started this year, and the first harvest will be reaped uh, in about April and May next year. And from then onwards, it'll begin to bring in uh, groundnuts and other crops year by year. But it'll go on developing and getting bigger for years and years, and it'll be operated for tens of years. It's a long-term scheme. I suppose, sir, you haven't any uh, brief comment uh, to the defeaters who suggest that the scheme will be a failure. Bosh! <laughs> I hope you're going to say nuts, sir. <laughs> nuts would be better, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you very much. That's thank most you. interesting.